Hello everybody, this is WWAY Sports. I'm Destin Dorsey filling in for John Rentleman. He is off this week, this evening. We've got some UNCW news to get to tonight, so let's start on the hardwood. The high-flying UNCW Seahawks are on the road tomorrow to start a two-game road trip up in Virginia. The team and Teal are looking to, for the program's first 20-win season in 14 years when they take on the James Madison Dukes Thursday night. This game will be the 71st time the Dukes and Seahawks meet. UNCW looks to stay on top of the CAA and James Madison will look to play the spoiler Thursday night. In order to win, coach Kevin Keats and his squad will have to take down a veteran team up in the Shenandoah Valley. The thing that stands out about those guys is they've got um, experience. And when you talk about, you know, they've got six or seven seniors on the roster and then some juniors that are playing. Uh, the other thing that stands out about them is their size. Um, you know, they're one of the biggest teams that we're going to face. After taking on the Dukes, the Seahawks will conclude their road trip Saturday with a game versus William & Mary. And now staying with UNCW news, the Diamond Hawks were the unanimous pick by the CAA coaches to win the conference title this spring. Led by seven returning starters, including All-American Nick Fate, the Seahawks received all eight first place votes over the defending champion William, William and Mary Griffins. Head coach Mark Scalf says that the team is eager to get back on the field this season, and that day is coming up fast. UNCW will open their season February 17th against George Mason. And now we got some high school sports, some hoops news to get to tonight. Clinton High beat both of the East Blade and Eagles teams tonight in the girls basketball game. It was Clinton winning 58 to 31. The boys basketball game also had a rough ending for East Bladen as they lost 87 to 74. In Brunswick County, West Brunswick won both of their games against South Brunswick. The girls won 57 to 36 and the boys won a close one 60 to 56.